Lots of ships use the harbour at Knapford. The passenger ships have spotless paint and shining brass. Other ships, though, smaller and dirtier, are important too. They take coal, machinery and other things abroad and bring back meat, timber and the things we need. Fishing boats also come up there. They unload their fish on the quay. Some of it is sent to shops in the town and some goes in a special train to other places farther away. The workmen call this train the Flying Kipper. One cold spring evening, Henry's driver said, We'll be out early tomorrow, we've got to take the Flying Kipper. Don't tell Gordon, he whispered. Well, I think if we pull the kipper nicely, the fat controller will let us pull the yippee! cried Henry excitedly. That will be lovely. He was ready at five o'clock. There was ice and frost, men hustled and shouted, loading the runs with crates of fish. The last door banged, the guard waved his green flag and they were off. Come on, come on, don't be silly, don't be silly, puffed Henry to the vans as his wheels slipped on the icy rails. The van shut and then growled. All right, all right, he answered grudgingly. That is better, that is better, puffed Henry more happily as the train began to gather speed. Thick clouds of smoke and steam poured from his funnel into the cold air, and when his uh, fireman put on more coal, the fire's light shone brightly on the icy ground. They pushed all the bridges and patted through stations, green signal lights showing as they passed. They were going well, the light grew better and a yellow signal appeared ahead. Distance signal up, thought Henry. Caution, said his driver, turned off steam, preparing to stop. The home signal was down. They couldn't know the points from the main line to a siding were frozen and that, that signal had been set at danger. Ice had the signal frozen in place. The signal was down, sir, said Henry nervously. Cheer up, Henry. It wasn't your fault. Ice caused accident. I'm sending you to crew a fine place for stick engines. They'll give you a new shape and a larger firebox. Then you'll feel a different engine and won't need special coal anymore. Won't that be nice? Yes, sir, said Henry doubtfully. Crowds of people and engines waited to see him arrive in his new shape. Thank you very much, he whistled happily. I am sorry to say that a lot of children are often late to school because they wait to see Henry go by. They often see him pulling the express, and he does it so well that God is jealous, but that is another story.